at Marine Mumbles, we are all about exploring beaches, exploring the ocean, telling you the weirdest and most wonderful facts about the ocean's most, well, weirdest and wonderful creatures. I make YouTube videos here every single Wednesday explaining all of that. Our goal, my goal, is to share what I know as a marine biologist with you guys about things like rock pooling and to take you along with me as I explore. But I also have a website, marinemumbles.com, which for the last six months I have been redoing because as well as the weekly YouTube videos, I want somewhere for you guys to go and be able to search and learn about species. So for the rest of this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly what my website has to offer you, what you can find out and check out there, and the literally hundreds to thousands of photos I've uploaded of all of the marine creatures I have seen on my adventures ready for you to explore by clicking the link below. Mm. Let me give you a bit of background and context to this new website. MarineMumbles.com has always existed, in fact, before this YouTube channel. I started this in my last year of my undergrad when I kind of just, I wanted something to do that helped me share science, help me share what I was learning. I was enjoying what I was learning. I wanted to share it. I wanted something that I could do guilt free. Um, and I kind of felt that making art and putting on a website and sharing this with people would be something I could add kind of to my CV as well. So I got a break in the midst of, you know, the craziness of the final year of university. I had a break every week where I could sit down and paint a picture of a species and upload a little bit of writing about it. But when I swapped into kind of masters, when I was doing a lot of writing for research, Marine Mumbles kind of went into the background. I brought it back up again when I started my PhD in hopes that I had a bit more time to spend in it because the masters was very, very tight and uh, I had to focus on that. But I just, I didn't love writing blogs as much as I thought I did or as much as I did before. And I just wanted some other way to share. And in the back of my mind, I always knew I wanted to do YouTube in the sense that I wanted to make videos. I always liked making videos and I was just wasn't brave enough to do it. So in the summer of my first year of my PhD, I took the plunge and I signed up to YouTube and I haven't looked back since. Every single Wednesday I have posted a video sharing the marine world and I've loved every single second of it. But it was a time consuming process at the start and it is still time consuming. There are still videos that take me eight to 12 hours to edit, but some videos take me a lot less and I feel like now I've got the time to go back to Marine Mumbles. And I want a site that's useful to you, even if I become busy. I've been rock pooling a lot more and I've learned a lot more and I've taken a lot more photos. And I think I'm at the stage now where I want to provide you guys with another resource. I have my YouTube channel where you can kind of come along on my adventures, learn about these different species. But what if you go rock pooling yourself? You don't want to trawl through, you know, the over a hundred videos I have on that channel to try and find the species you want. You want a quick and simple, place you can go to work out what weird creature you have found and that is what i have changed marinemumbles.com into i have taken it away from doing the blog post style thing which i will will do and will be there and i still have other plans for the website but at the moment it is a place that you can go to work out what rock pooling species you have found so introducing the new MarineRumbles.com This is the homepage and is full of all the aims and information about what Marine Mumbles is. I aim to explore and bring you guys along with me. I hope to be entertaining and I hope to educate you guys. And basically the homepage is the place where you'll find all the information for that. But then you can also use the menu at the top to click onto the species list which is what I have really, really focused on. Now, normally, or with a species list, it is done by taxonomy, by evolution. 
by how linked the creatures are to one another. But if you are new to rock pooling, then that can actually be a bit confusing. Did you know that a barnacle is in the same group as it's a crustacean? So it's in the same group as a crab, whereas it looks a lot more like it should be like an oyster. And some people might not know that limpets are snails and that they have a little living organism because all you ever see is basically the shell attached to the surface of a rock. So before I made this website, I sat down and I wanted to split the rocky shore up into the species that if you had never been rock pooling before, what 12 groups would you group them in? If you could look at a species and think, I have no idea what that is, how would I describe it? What would I click on to find? So my website is not split up by taxonomy, by how closely related in evolution the groups of species are, but they are split up into the 12 groups of anemones, sea slugs, fish, sea snails, seaweeds, worms, sea stars, crabs, seabirds and marine mammals. We then have shells that are attached to surfaces and two categories that are other species that don't move and other species that can move. Now, these might be a bit odd. It means that in this category is other species that don't move and other species that can move is kind of a junk drawer of the more random and weirder sections. But on those sections, I've got pages explaining the differences between the species so that you can easily kind of navigate between them. And I hope that if someone goes rock pooling, then the paintings I have done of each of the groups of the species would help them kind of see what I mean, and the titles themselves. I hope that those 12 categories will make it easier for you to work out exactly what weird creature you have found when you're rock pooling. Then you simply click on the picture, which takes you to the page full of the species in that category. So let's click on shells attached to the surfaces. Oh, what a surprise. In this category, we find barnacles, as well as other things like mussels and oysters. If you want to find out more about barnacles, which of course you will do, you just click on the picture and it will take you through to another page with a paragraph of information all about barnacles and then a gallery of images of all of the images I have taken of barnacles and have uploaded. You can then click on that to make it bigger and scroll through to look at these wonderful barnacles to your heart's content. If you want to find out more information, I have then linked on each of these page the YouTube video I think that best tells you the most information about that species. In this case, it's a whole video about barnacles, which, I mean, who isn't going to want to watch that? But there are literally hundreds of photos I have uploaded from ones I have taken. They are all, I hope, informative, good photos that you can use to help your ID and they're just nice to look at and to scroll through. I It's also a place I wanted to share the scientific communication that I am doing. I absolutely love producing videos, I've been to science festivals, I do public talks, I'm really getting into that kind of scientific communication world and wanting to continue to share my science. So it's a place where I'm putting what I do in that kind of realm. The, the realm between my academic side, which is also on there, there's some information about kind of what I do and my research journey, but there's that other side of research where I'm communicating what I'm doing, where I'm sharing about rock pooling, where I'm doing science festivals and competitions and public talks and standing on the middle of the Royal Mile in Edinburgh and shouting about my research at people in the rain. 
and I wanted that on there because it's something that I'm taking seriously and if anyone out there is watching my videos you want to check out my site if you want to work with me if you want to collaborate if you want me to do something then please get in touch with at marinemumbles at gmail.com all the information is on my website because I really want to take this scientific journey the scientific communication journey to the next level and continue to do it because it is something that I have deeply fallen in love with doing and find absolutely exciting. I'm really excited that the website is there ready to show you guys that I'm serious about communicating science and I'm serious about this YouTube channel and what I do and moving forward with this I just keep wanting to move forward. I just keep wanting to do more, to experience more, to explore more and this website I just think is the best next step for that. There is also going to be a lot more things I'm planning to do with the website. This is getting that resource up with the species list. It's the first thing that I wanted to tackle and make sure that was up there. But I want to go back to doing the blog posts. I want to go back to kind of sharing artwork on there and getting other people involved in the website as well. So keep an eye out, keep coming back. The species that are up there aren't the species that are going to stay, up, well they're going to stay up there but it's not just going to be them. At the moment I think I've got 76 species I found rock pooling documented there but there are tons more. I was looking through my photos and thinking how do I not have a picture of this? It's such a common species that I just completely overlooked it and never thought to take a picture or videoed them but never took a picture so I'm consciously going back and doing that. I'm doing videos where I'm taking specific pictures of specific animals to show you their anatomy, I'm getting pictures of different seaweeds, I'm really starting to build a lot more species which will be regularly updated and I want this site, I want marine mumbles to be somewhere that you can go and just be so useful to you. Another thing I want to say is that I don't get paid for any of this, this is something I'm doing because I feel like it should be out there, it's a free resource for you guys, all my videos are free, the going on the website, contacting me, everything is free and it's something I do because I love to do it and I think it should be out there and I want you guys to have this resource ready for you to use, to get you inspired, to get you out near the ocean, in the ocean, ocean stuff. Um, because of that I, I will ask you guys if you can share with as many people as possible and the best way for you to support me, my channel, my website is to make sure you are sharing but also subscribing on my YouTube channel. Uh, that just helps me know I'm going in the right direction and it also helps YouTube know I'm going in the right direction and it helps it YouTube try and share and with as many people as possible which is the entire goal of this website my youtube channel is to share the information that i am learning about marine biology with as many people as possible so that we can you know get people more connected with nature you can learn more you can have a great time so just want to put out there if you want to support me my channel and my website then please subscribe and uh, keep liking keep commenting and keep getting uh, in touch with me on all my social medias i love connecting with you guys and sharing and hearing about your book pulling stories so what are you waiting for head over to marinemumbles.com and then comment on the video below what is your favorite species you have found on my species list. I want to know. What's your favourite picture? Start a conversation. I am here. Just sitting on my phone waiting for you to comment. Comment. <laughs> I really, really hope you like the website everyone. I'm so excited for this. I'm literally so excited for you to see it finally after all this work. <laughs> so I will see you back next Wednesday with another video. Enjoy exploring the website until then. Bye everyone.